Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Shauna, back up in this joint with another video. Yup. Yeah. Alright, so I just downloaded the new iOS 14 and I think it's pretty lit. And when I first downloaded it, I didn't even know that you can do all this customization stuff. I didn't really know that until I seen people talking about it on social media. So I was like, okay, let me check this out. So yeah, I mean, it's kind of fun because it's like fun to personalize your own thing. It kind of reminds me of the MySpace days. And plus it's kind of fun to see like how other people did theirs too. Like when people show pictures of their home screens and what they did. It's just kind of fun to look at other people's to get ideas and I don't know, it's just fun to look at, you know, almost like, you know, how it's fun to watch other people's like room tours or even though what's on my iPhone, which I guess technically that's kind of like what this is. I still have a 7 Plus, but you can still update. I think you can do it on a 6. So you don't necessarily have to have the latest, latest phone, but you might need a newer phone to do certain, certain features. But you don't really need the latest phone for this update and to do all like the main cool customization stuff. So yeah, this is my case. It's kind of like an artsy. I don't know if you can see. This is my lock screen. I just put like a live video. You touch it. Is that not working? You touch it. I don't think that's an iOS 14 update. I think that feature was there. But basically you could put a live picture as your lock screen. But I'm thinking about just changing the lock screen to my artwork. Okay, so here's my home screen. Of course, I did a purple theme. Mainly purple with a pop of rose gold. And I kind of did like a birthday type of theme. Like you see the balloons and stuff. Mainly because I guess my birthday is coming up in a couple months. And so I don't know. I guess I was just in the mood for like... A little bit of a birthday vibe but of course definitely gonna do purple so this is my first screen so yeah the ios 14 is really cool because you know the way you can add like all these widgets and stuff and you don't have to have all the apps on your screen all at once you can organize them you can keep only the main apps you want and just the way you could decorate your page like so here's my second page and yeah i love those candles up the top that's my rose gold phone right there in that picture um and on this page is kind of like my i guess work page with reminders my calendar and then i just put all these apps in folders i got a picture of my artwork in the corner then the rest of the apps if you have a lot of apps the rest of the apps just you could just put them in the app library it's over here we just slide slide to the left and they're they already put them in folders and everything so you don't even have to put all the folders like it just kind of helps keep the apps organized so they're over there and you could just easily you know you could just search you could type in the apps that you want you know like they're there so you don't have to keep them all on your page and then on this page um the one where you swipe right this also has some widgets that you could put on there and I put like the weather and this is like another picture. This is, it's actually a, a slideshow like it rotates the pictures. It has like the battery percentage. Um, I put the weather there so I don't even need to put like the app on my phone anymore like on the home screen because I could just put this widget right here and just look at it like that. You can still click on it and see like the full thing if you want. So yeah I guess like the first thing to get started would probably be to pretty much start organizing your apps like getting like moving all the apps that you don't want to use that much into the app library so that it's not like cluttered you know basically declutter and maybe just keep like the few apps that you know you want to keep like right there accessible on your page so that's kind of what i did first and then i went and started downloading all the pictures i want to use like, like of course i want mainly purple for my theme or whatever but you know whatever pictures that you want to use like for your background or if you want to put these widgets with pictures on your phone and then the apps um the app icons and different pictures that's basically what i did is start going through like on pinterest like a lot of people like to use pinterest i use pinterest and some on google and just whatever of my own pictures i already have like pictures of me or my artwork that i want to put in there so i just put all of them in a folder and i put Basically all the stuff that I might want to use for that, for this iOS update, for customizing my page and I did other folders for like little albums and stuff that, because some of the widgets if you want rotating 
pictures it might be better to put them in like their own little album so basically yeah that's what i did is gather it up just take the time and gather like all the pictures that you may want to use just like go on pinterest um here's my pinterest app so yeah i made some folders i made a rose gold folder and some purple folders just went and gathered like just found a bunch of pictures that have purple and like type of stuff that i want to put on my home screen so then once we do that we start working on the widgets and figure out what widgets we want so to do the widgets you gotta download a couple of apps there's a few widget apps to make if you want to make your own widgets with pictures and stuff and the calendars so you gotta download widget smith you gotta go on the app store download widget smith that's this black one with the blue square that's widget smith download color widget and maybe download photo widget there's two of them so i don't know like they kind of work a little bit differently but but mainly widget smith and color widgets are the main ones so you gotta download some widget apps to start making the widgets okay so once you got those widget apps downloaded so this top widget up here with the date and the picture of me i made that in color widgets so to do make that you go to the color widgets app okay so yeah there's no one i made but you can see there's like different ones you can choose from or you can just make your own picture like i did so what you would do is just click on you know one of them and then go to edit widget and then you could choose like you know if you want small ones it's gonna be a small square like that a medium size or a big size which takes up about half the page it looks pretty cool but I use the medium one and then you know you go down here where it says background photo boom and then you pick you know whatever picture you want so I'll pick this picture of the cupcake and then you can also choose what font you want there's different fonts to choose from then once you pick what you want set widget and then there it is up there at the top to get it on your phone well I already have it on there so it just changed but uh if it's not on your phone yet you just go to you gotta get the jiggle mode in you click the top the plus at the top and then the widget would be you would see it on this page and you just select it but it's not on here because i already got it on my phone so like say if it was this widget then you would click click on it and then click add a widget at the bottom and then boom it should be on your phone now it's back and also this picture that i'm using i kind of made this with the app called pixart so it's this app right here pixart and it's just an app where you can edit pictures together on this picture there's like balloons in the background since i was going for like a birthday or a party type of thing i like balloons so i use like a blended mode on the app and blended the picture of balloons in with that picture to kind of like make my own picture the way i wanted it to but i mean you could do whatever but that's like you know just saying that app is there if you want to edit pictures and stuff for your phone or for your theme or whatever okay so then like the the letter d it's on the app widget smith which is the app it's this it's the one that has the black square with the blue square inside that's widget smith so so you just open that app so these are the ones i already made but basically when you're making a new one for the first time you can just go to where well, you select which one you want you can do small medium or a large widget just like the other any other app like the same sizes and then uh so say i want to add a small one click on it then click it again and then here you could choose this is how you make the calendars if you want a calendar so i have a little calendar so here's like different styles of calendars photo they do like your upcoming events but you gotta have your calendar your actual calendar on the phone it's gotta be linked you just gotta you gotta edit it in your actual calendar and then the same thing in your reminders if you want to put your reminders in you gotta do your reminders in the actual reminders at first and then or you can do a photo like i did on that in that specific widget then you click select photo at the bottom choose photo and boom you choose whatever photo you want so say i'm using this so i'm gonna use this heart and then just go back and then click save and then it's right there then you just close out the app and then you gotta go in jiggle mode put the plus at the top and then you find it here so here's widget smith down here 
So if you see, so you either see it there, if it's not in this section, like all the widgets you make should be in here somewhere, you click that plus in general mode. <laughs> or you click the actual widget smith app, but since it's right here, I'm gonna click that, boom. I made a small one, so then you click add a widget at the bottom. And then, okay, if it doesn't change to the one that you made, then you go out of the jiggle mode, click on it, all right, or not like that. All right, and then you press and hold, and then edit widget, and then click on that, and then whatever number it was, so it was the last one, I think. So, yeah. And then there it is, it's on there. But I'm going to delete it because we don't want to use that one right now. But that's basically how you do all the widgets with widget smiths, the calendar, reminders. So you could do that and that's how you put them on the phone. And then some of them are made with photo widget. So this one right here is made with photo widget. And you can make the photos change. So photo widget, there's like a couple different photo widget apps. So this one is just photo widget. Like I have two, the one's called, all right, photo widget. See, there's two of them, photo widget and there's photo widgets. I think that one was made with photo widget. Photo widget, you can add up to like 30 photos in one. And all you do is just click the plus and then click however, however many photos you want, put them in there and that's it, you're done. <laughs> That's all it is. And you do the same thing like you do with the other apps to find the widget and add it to your phone. And so I have like two, I have the candle one like this. I put that in this picture because I like the way that picture also looks on the screen. I don't know if it's changed that one yet. And then all of these ones, these ones were just with, with Widget Smith. This one right here with the balloons is a, also a changing picture. So there is an option to click an album that you want, but you gotta put the pictures in an album already like an album by itself and then put it in there so it'll say like picture photos and album when, you, when you're on the widget smith app also i put my background in place too before i actually started placing the widgets and stuff because so that way i already had the idea of how it's gonna look but yeah i think it's just kind of easier to put the background in place first so you kind of already have an idea how it's gonna look as you start placing your widgets then once I got my widgets set up I kind of started rearranging like how I wanted my pages to look you know how I wanted it set up where I wanted the apps to be placed and then I went and customized my app icons and you do that in shortcuts you go to shortcuts boom and then these are all the shortcuts that I already did so they would show up like that but to make a new one you hit the plus sign up in the right corner Go to add action, go to scripting, this X, and then open app. When you choose the app, click choose, and then whatever app you want to do. So the only app that I didn't do that's on my home screen is settings, so I'll just do that one for an example. And then after you choose the app, you hit those three dots in the right corner with the blue circle. Then click add to home screen, click new shortcut, and rename it so i'm gonna just call it settings because that's i need to know what it is and you click the yellow the icon that's on the right of the name choose photo so i'm gonna choose i'll choose this cupcake and then you can position it how you want it to fill in the square so it's like that bam and then you click add in the top right and then click done and click next and it asks you to name it again for what you want to tell Siri if you're going to open the app with Siri so I'm still going to call it settings and then click done there it is and then click off of that and your app is going to show up on a home screen so it's going to make a new home screen if we don't have room then all you would do is just move the actual app to the library so that i get it into the jiggle mode all right edit home screen and then click remove from home screen and it will automatically move to the library now there's extra space and then you just move this one to 
I mean, I hate moving these things around because they don't always, sometimes they just mess up. There. And then it should work. Right there. So, yeah. The only thing too is like every time you open the app though, it's going to go to the shortcuts app first and then the actual app. But some people don't like that, but it just depends. If you really like it, then hey. So that's pretty much it. And then the same thing with the apps on the bottom. It's the same exact thing. The only thing is if, if they're apps that, you know, they show the little red notification on the corner of the app so you know if you got a new notification. It's not going to show that on the shortcuts. So, but when you just look at your notifications, if they show up, like, if you have them set to show up on your home, your lock screen or whatever like that, but they're not going to show little red, like, numbers. That's the only thing. You have to have the original app to still see that. Alright, so some of the other things that you can do real quick. I can't do it on my phone because I still have a 7 Plus, but if you have like a 10 or 11 probably, you could do it. If there's new features like in settings, go to accessibility, go to touch. You, that's how you do the back touch thing to set it to, if you want to tap on the back to do a screenshot or you could tap it three times to set it to do like some, something else that you want. But that would be in accessibilities and it'll be at the bottom it would say like back touch or something but i don't have that option and i'm guessing it's probably because i still have a 7 plus so but i'm guessing you could do it with like the later phone 11 maybe 10 so i don't know but yeah just saying that's a cool feature and another cool feature that it has is picture in picture that one i can do on the 7 plus i did do it before it worked but yeah picture in picture so that you can so when you're watching a video like YouTube or something. So if you're trying to do like other stuff on your phone at the same time while watching a video, the video will minimize to the corner of your phone, like at the bottom somewhere. Or you can like move it around and then still do like other tasks on your phone. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's my iOS home screen. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I kind of had fun customizing it even though it was tedious. It took me forever to get it to look the way I wanted. But if you have the patience for it, then yeah. So I like looking at how other people customize their home screens and stuff. So so if you customize your home screen and you want to share it, you know, you could like tag me in your pictures on Twitter or Instagram, Shauna Sparkle on Twitter and Instagram. So tag me in your pictures if you customize your home screen with the iOS updates. Yeah, I want to see how y'all hooked up your home screens and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you in another video. Nigga, what you doing? I've been living that life.